All right, here we are. Optic EG, game two. The bar is over the Optic gaming side. It's one to zero, Kyle. Let's see what these opening bands are going to be. I'm, I'm, I'm going with there's for sure a Dark Willow band, and that's all I'm going to say. I mean, that's a good guess. Thank you. Let's see. Not much, I mean, not much really. That, that's This is the only part of the draft I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of. Just the first three bands. Anything could happen, you know? But usually you're just going to see the same stuff. What's there to talk about? Some instant I don't know. Sanking. You just hang out, right? Yeah. So, why does Optic... Optic has first pick, but they ban the bounty. Is bounty just not, like, a, a first, first pick hero? Or do you, like, have another strategy in mind when you do something like that? Because, I mean, Bounty Hunter won in the game, it felt like. And you have that first pick. I mean... I think Bounty's just like a key hero for both of these teams. I think the vision control in that last game was a big part of the reason Optic won it. And I like that they chose to ban it out here because you don't want to just give away... You don't want to pick the same thing twice against a team of the caliber of EG. And you really don't want to just like... Pick, like you don't want to give it to them either, you know? Because that's like the go-to EG hero. And what in the world? All right. I... Were you gonna were you gonna say go to game three? What is it? AA no. AA who? AA Dragon Knight. AA Sand King. Viper's not bad. Or Viper Rubik or AA Viper, some combination of these heroes. I, I'm feeling the AA Viper. Yep. Oh, yep. it wasn't banned. First, oh. I wasn't banned. What do you know? They're they're thinking a lot though. Do you think? Are you guaranteeing it? If it was you, you're guaranteeing it, obviously, because you're the one picking it. But do you think EG is in the same mindset here? Because they're thinking. Um, they're thinking. I can see. I can see them picking like Rubik Furion as well. Rubik or Furion, that is. Five seconds remaining. Let's see. Got the Viper. I can't believe they redid the Viper model. It still looks that bad. Or wait, I want to go to a different events. I mean, it looks great. That was doing a super job on the artwork, and there it is. Hey, I did it! Look at me. Wait, you, you know how to, you know how to pick AA and against. Is there any other heroes uh, you instantly pick AA versus? Like more playing Huskar. The thing is, I, I just don't like. I don't like how predictable this NA scene is, man. I really don't. I, I feel like it's a big limiting factor in our ability to perform in international competition. And then they, ch they channel an optic. Like, I, I feel like you shouldn't be able to accurately predict a team's opener in response to your first pick. And it allows you to have a big draft advantage in my eyes in the event it isn't something that's like unmovable, right? Like gyro is always going to counter by AA. It's not something you can move to support or to off lane. It's going to be PyCat's hero. They're going to be counting on him to carry the game. And he's playing against AA Viper. And you should sort of see that coming. Why ban Beastmaster if you're going to go gyro first pick? Same with Omni to an extent. I feel like, I don't know. Hey, trust me. I'm sure this is one of the few times, Kyle, I think the viewers are, are going to agree with you. Sometimes you just, everything's predictable, makes it a little harder to watch kind of stuff. But from a player perspective, I mean, you, you want to play what you're really good at, right? And that's the problem with like being a little less, not random, what's the word? Predictable. Ten seconds remaining. Uh, I don't know, man. Makes me sad, though. I'm sad. There's a Chen. Is this going to be a, a Zai Chen? No. Pi is it? Or did, do you just give... Does, I know Peter plays it, but I don't know if Zai plays it's it a better. Peter Chen. It is. 100% a Peter Chen. All right. Radiant team Remember back. Zai used to play it a tad bit. Why is EG banning Brood, though? That's weird. I mean, I guess they have AA Viper, but... I don't know. I always think of Brood as like the go-to Chen counter. Really, if you're playing against Chen Brood, it makes your draft real easy. But fourth pick Brood from Optic, eh, it's just a Brood. You know, people are scared of it. I don't blame them. Either way, you could have as much AOE in the world as you want. That hero just, mm -hmm. uh, you never know. This... Yeah, they're they're going to Doom again, I'm pretty sure, on EG. Let's see. This will be the ultimate predictability, Kyle. Ten seconds remaining. You will be 10 out of 10 in the book, if it is a Doom. Could it be something? Could it still be like a Rubik, though, possibly? 
It could be. I mean, it's EG, so they could just Rubik, but I think it's going to do them. Let's see, they're thinking it out here. Bulba behind him. Yeah. I think they, they want team. PL. I think they want PL here, and they might pick it and like try and deny it from Optic because they do have AA Viper, and AA Viper Doom are all kind of owned by PL. They Tusk. All right, I like that too. Tusk is like my favorite hero to play against Chen because you have a lot of wave clear for his minions yeah. and a lot of disables, and it's a really good synergy with AA. Kind of owns Gyro too because you can snowball the Flak or the Call Down. Like Sigil also just like it's just it's just a good hero against Chen. It's hard to dive towers when there's a tusk potentially hiding or TPing in. I just would prefer it if they had like a coddle versus an AA. Because you have a lack of wave clear on EG's draft. You can already kind of see it. Let's see. Well, they go a little bit the opposite way, and that's an instant PL, PL pick. Yeah. Instant PL. It's it's obvious, though. Like, you, you're you going to see that coming, I think. They yeah. don't want to give it to Optic fourth pick again, especially when they pick tusk. Um... And just Chen Witch Dog here on Optic. Yeah, Chen mm -hmm. Witch Dog didn't do anything. It's kind. Of, it's not a little different than uh, the Drow, but I mean, you get in Gyro's face as an equally farmed PL versus equally farmed Gyro. PL's gonna win that. So. And uh, the other thing about it is it's really good synergy with the AA Tusk. Like you, you just you're gonna have a free farm PL almost no matter what. I'm not really a fan of the throwaway Witch Doctor. It's good against Viper because even though he has a ton of magic resist. The Maledict and the cast can still crush him. Viper also just kind of dies if you channel your ulti in his face. But uh, I just, I'm just not, a f I feel like the hero is just not as strong as others. Terrorblade. TB, so I believe we have seen a TB gyro uh, today already, Kyle. Do you think this one's going to be a little more effective? It should be. But it's a hard game, especially when you have a last pick Sumail hero. And that last pick Sumail hero is probably going to be uh, Pugna if it's left available. But I wouldn't mind seeing... I, I, people don't believe in Brew, man. But I'm telling you, Brew is like so underrated right now in NA. No one is playing it, and I don't know why. Good question. Yeah, it really did feel like back then it was just Moo playing it. With a sprinkle of moon meander. Now. <laughs> Last ban for EG. So you talk about like the pug nut stuff or EG. What optic, what do you want to see in their offlane? Um, I think it's a really good Underlord game right now. Really good Underlord game. They just might not have enough stun is the issue. I wouldn't mind a brew on their side either, though, to be honest. Like, brew just is brew is my AA counter, it's my Viper counter, and you AoE dispel PL illusions until he has heart. You can definitely see, Kyle, like, your, your hatred for Witch Doctor, your love for, for brew. There's always those, those, those personal preferences, right? Radiant That's what makes Dota great, at least in my eyes. Not everyone thinks the same. And, oh, hey, EG, it thought on the same side of you. Uh, brew is pretty good. It, it crushes their draft, and the thing is, once they take Brew, there's like nothing you can do to recover the lineup where you would ever win a team fight. And if you can't win a team fight against Chen Gyro TB, you've pretty much just lost the game. So I, I think that ban is 100% correct. And I expect a Enigma or an Underlord style of here. I don't think you Enigma here just because you have Chen. Like I'd rather like a point stun. Uh, Sand King is still in the pool. Wouldn't be surprised to see that picked up no, it's from banned. Optic. It is banned by EG. Very first. You probably oh, just wow, looked, yeah. you were looking farther <laughs> down the list. You weren't expecting <laughs> the, the top ban. Yeah, I read. I did like the bottom five, you know? Yeah. EG first banded both these games. The first of the first bans. So I think it's a probably pretty big key to Optic then. Yeah. I think I, I could see like a Centaur being the pick as well. I've seen Optic run that as already. Maybe a, I was going to say Magnus, but I don't like that. I, I, I can see like a core ET. It's like ET, mm, they could pug to themselves. It's like ET, Underlord, Centaur. It's really the only way I see this going. Oh, you've seen a Centaur already today. Why, what are your thoughts, sorry, it's kind of random, but what are your thoughts on Magnus? When I was casting Chinese Dota with Breaky, Magnus was getting third and fourth picked almost, I think, like four of the seven games. 
Do you think he's still a hero that's decent? It's it's questionable. No one plays it. That's the thing. You gotta you need that first believer, you know, and then all of a sudden you'll know if the hero is good or not. But since nobody believes in the hero, it's hard for anyone. It's hard for it to become meta because there's no one like spamming it or picking it. And usually when something wins enough games, people steal it. But I just haven't seen Magan forever. It was just, I mean, I've casted SCA, Europe, NA a lot lately, and just, just China, and they, they value it pretty highly. And it's always the same. I, I saw just Magnus PA, Magnus Juggernaut, that was it. Pugna Ban. I like the ban. I think that was the go-to hero for EG in this spot. I think Pugna Brew were their best choices. Neither are a lot, uh, able to be chose now. You called both those last bans pretty easily for both sides, and... Now you have optics, so at least, like you said with EG, right? They lo they love getting Sumail that last pick hero, and he gets the last of the last picks here. Yeah, the problem is he needs to be playing like a traditional safe, like off lane type hero here, and he's just yep. There's the Enigma, man. I'm on I'm on fire right now. But you said you didn't like the Enigma as much as the Underlord, because mm -hmm. was it mostly just because the the Chen doesn't really? Do I, I, with I it, think or? it's overkill. Like they have no real catch now, absolutely none. And Chen and Enigma don't really play together too well in the off lane. Usually Enigma is supposed to like play alone in the off lane with like maybe some strong roaming hero like an ET or an Earth Spirit. Now you're gonna have like just a bunch of creeps. So this is where I feel like you could you could honestly still pick. What? And here we go. Uh, uh, bat riders. Bat. Bat's good here. I, I should have mentioned that one. It's like a completely free bad game, and Sumel's one of Sumel's best heroes. They have nothing to really deal with it right now. I like EG's lineup a lot. And you talked about the catch, right? They have Batrider, Tusk. They've got pretty big forms of catch. So when when does both team like, where do you see both teams wanting to, like, who takes this early game in the laning phase? Is it still going to be the Enigma Chen, or because they kind of both dominate the same lane, EG's going to be fine in the other lanes? See, I, I just feel like it's a hard game for Optic in the early stages because you're going to have Tusk securing the top lane, most likely for the PL. AA could start with Bat like he did in the previous series against DC, or he can just try lane. There's nothing Optic has that can actually stand against the EG try lane. You're going to have a Viper mid against Gyro, which I think is mostly Viper favorite. He has like 10 damage advantage and doesn't really die. And then the Bat's just bottom. And even if they aggro into him, they just rotate a support down there. And Bat is still going to kill them. So I think Optic has to play for a timing. And EG just kind of needs to get the tempo going, get the defusal on PL, and just, you know, run over the game. Uh, you probably see an HOD on Fear as well here. Is that optic timing like Dragonlance, Manta, Terrorblade, and like Enigma, Black King Bar? Or? Pretty much. Enigma BKB is huge here. There's no real interrupt, so it's, it's a big item purchase for sure. Here we go. This is it. This could be it, pardon me. Game number two, EG versus Optic. Optic up one. Will it be evened out? Or will we be seeing a Optic vs. VGJ Finals? Prepare for battle. Cool. A little bit late smoke from Optic. Both teams actually doing the same thing. They're all running. The, eh, this might be the first time I've seen all ten people run out of the, the same entrance. A little bit later smoke from EG. Good luck, have fun. Oh, and crit with ice shards. This could be a kill on Zai. Oh, but he, he starts running that upper side anyways. The coconut flies. But you see, they have vision. So fear from the lower ground. Is he going to get the first blood? Uphill miss? Nope. It's exactly the hero you want to have that first blood to. Wow. Yeah, that's going to be a, a full rate yep. ban if he wants to get it yep. now. Basilisk. As expected. Optic is going to aggro, I think, and put CC... I, I actually think that the Enigma should be going mid in this game, 100%, but it, it's just hard. I don't know how you would lane it if you were... E uh, what I think VP would do is put Gyro TB top alone with the Chen, uh, Enigma mid, and then just Witch Doctor plus one bottom, but you're in a position now where I feel like you can't really threaten Bat in the safe lane, and you you die to every Tusk movement, and in the bottom lane, like you will not be able to enter it. Uh, mid PL, he doesn't really die to uh, rotations from Chen, so I like this choice by EG a lot. Unless, of course, you know, Aoi shows up with like four golems, but 
That's quite rare. Yep. So do you want to see you want to see Misery just like head straight top now? Dual lane with that Bat Rider. Mm. Or what? Does, now it feels weird because you have an ag. Well, no, maybe not. Yeah, you kind of have an aggro tri lane top, but it's with a Chen. Yep. Feels like Misery actually doesn't have much to go. I mean, he can just go to any lane, but you don't want to really leech experience. He could. I think he might chili fingers mid first, but I'm not sure. Like, yeah, you wanna you wanna just mess with the meta a bit. Don't give it away for free, much like we saw in the previous game. He does try to run a pill to mess with it, and he eats a lot of damage. Yeah. Top lane, top, oh, wow. Man, he just goes down. Like, yep. Literally rocket stun. And this this lane is very difficult for Bat alone. I would have liked to see them put someone there immediately, and this is the issue because they just immediately kill him. And Bat has very low HP and armor and move speed. So once you catch that rocket to the face and a stun, like you actually just die as he did there. A is gonna pull, but now Bat's already a bit behind. Luckily it wasn't first blood though. Yep. So not a huge deal. Now metal metamorphosis goes down. Expect to see our TZ do a tad better. In bottom lane, oh, crit tried to trap 33 in there as well. They're just killing off these Eidolons, and the creeps are aggroed on him, so Fear has vision. This is... yeah, I think as soon as Fear gets Aquila, you just leave him alone down here, and he'll be able to dominate the lane just by himself. Middle lane, gank comes from Peter with the Seder. Just gonna do a ton of damage. I don't think they're expecting that kill, just make him use his regen. Now I think top he's doing again. a lot better than I was Sorry. expecting this I already. think Bat Rider's dead again. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Right. Do me a favor. Learn from CC and C, guys. Rocket is by far the best spell to skill on Gyro in this sort of situation. It is just a pure 100 damage and a 2.25 second stun. It doesn't get absorbed by creeps, and it always lands. Unless, obviously, they hit it, and in the meantime, like, you, you, Bat isn't killing a rocket. You know what I mean? So I doing... see people still Q, and it just makes me sad. They're doing some rotations now. EG is at least. It's going to be a PL going top. Let's give you the Bat Rider going middle. I like this decision. Uh, PL can lane pretty well up here. He can actually juke the rocket, whereas Bat against TB threatens him really easily uh, until the TB is 6. And even then, like you, you can still kill him with a well-placed flame break. And look at this already, though. Obviously, it's a lot harder even... Rocket is going to be available, but middle lane, you don't feel as bad right getting rocketed because of that lane. tower. Oh, pardon me. Peter's going to go down as well after Fear. Does die though, so Crit gets some experience, but he's going to take a ton of damage here. And there's a chance he goes down as well. That clap. Yep, metamorphosis. It's all about the uh, two points reflection from uh, PyCat. I really like the decision. I think it's by far the most broken spell on Terrorblade, and it makes me very sad to watch. AFK farm players put all their points into illusions and meta first because that spell is broken. Oh, look at this, another rotation. We're sending fear middle now and Sumail bottom. So full three lane rotation, Pycat will dodge the ice shards. I I have no idea if what works. You know, we'll just say but I like what both teams did here. Alright, hey, that's man, you're learning. That's how you be a true caster. Nobody's ever wrong. And both mm -hmm. teams are playing great. Everyone's a beautiful Except Arteezy sample. right now, because this does not look yeah. like a good play. I will just say that right now. He is firing between the Tier 1 and Tier 2 against a Chen, and this is going to be Maldic. Oh, he wants that. Oh, Zai, <laughs> come on, man. What a player. I felt, like he I felt like he could have just took it himself, though. Like, he knew his spot. Eh, it doesn't matter. I still love it, but... It's the right Damn. Yeah, he denies the bounty rune. He gets the kill. And look at middle. They're just... Pycat's... He's roaming, and it's working out. Get ready. There's a Maldic. Reflection pops out. Crit's gonna be in a lot of troll, too. It's gonna be a quick save, but he's dying at Maldic either way. They go back uphill. That might have actually saved Crit, though. And he'll live, but... Wow. Kill on Viper. That's a lot of heroes rotated, though. We, we talked about that, right? It's four heroes. Yep. Sumail's had enough time bottom to essentially get two hero kills worth of gold and XP from just the free waves he's got, so it, it kind of evens out. I think that kill is worth, but I think they rotated one too many heroes. Like, was it... Was it... Now the Terror Blade's back middle against the Viper, and... I'll give it like, Dude, maybe, I don't you know, need a, maybe you need a rotate in middle, but I feel like Pycat didn't have to go middle. Man. It seems like... 
Pycat just wants to give B against P PL, right? Because whenever he just keeps avoiding the, the Bat Rider 100%. Mm -hmm. The issue is the Bat's gotten so much space now that he actually can lane anywhere, and he wants to be against this Gyro. I think the Gyro actually gets threatened by Tusk, but for some reason, like, I really think Crit and Bat just play together. Like, Tusk, Bat, play, AA rotates, helps lanes, like, doesn't feed, gets six eventually, but the Tusk and the Bat are the keys to the game, and they're, they haven't played together once. Snowball top. Chili fingers here. This will be a kill on 33. So you get this kill. Oh, he gets the Eidolons off. What's he gonna do with them? I'm just gonna try to avoid this tower push. But it doesn't work and he feeds away two Eidolons. Here has the Aquila. I feel like Reflection... Oh, well, it's middle lane. There, they're going for him. Raindrop tanks up the Seder Blast, but he's just gonna go down. We do see Sumail get the kill on Zai's well bottom. We don't see it, but... We see it on the screen. But fear goes down. And just Peter. Nice rotation. He doesn't even have the, uh, that Hadouken creep. Feels good. Eats the raindrop charge. Now Crit's here. Are we possibly going to see initiation or Crit's Sumail's, just... Sumail's coming mid as well. Sumail's on his way mid with the DD. No yes. Sunder on Pycat skill, but he has a point ready. Peter feels like he's no matter what dead, but they definitely want Pycat instead. It's level 2 Firefly. Back, yeah. though. Oh, oh, and he gets the Sunder skilled off and gets it onto Fear, and that's going to be a no kill. Wow, yep, skills the Sunder, the last thing he used on this plane. No drop all up on uh, RTZ, he's just dead again. Really good rotation from Zai, TPing in the trees, catching him off guard. They get the uh, tower, of course, but they kill PL, so I'm sure they're okay with it. You see, it's 8 to 4, so 7 minutes in, 12 kills. Maybe a few more could have had in middle, but Optic, man, that was a perfectly timed Sunder. Gets TP'd home, and even Peter, he recognizes it too. He's like, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. You guys don't have a way to cancel TPs except for crit. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm sure they could have played more optimally, but I feel like you can see from the way the game is being played that Optic's definitely feeling themselves. They're the ones making the movements and rotations, and uh, they're finding kills all over the map, playing very aggressively. Another one picked up by Zai. He's an ult on this Enigma. Nope. Zaya's Zai just everywhere, man. So I gotta just focus. I gotta focus more on him because that's just a free yeah, kill on misery. He's the player too, on oh, the team no. at least. No reason to be anywhere else. I feel. All right. Not, really? You? Uh, pie, I mean pie cap, but yeah, middle. Reflection just gets pop. Reflection feels actually. This feels like the one hero you don't want to spam it against. Like, he doesn't. He doesn't really do anything to fear. Top lane, we see some pings coming out from both teams, and this is three heroes from Optic. Only two from EG. They get the counter ward behind the tower. And bottom lane, they've just left bottom lane alone. It is a Batrider farm, which, yeah, it's good to get farm on. I'm sure you'd rather have Arteezy have that farm, but if Arteezy was bottom, there'd probably be heroes down there. And middle, smoke gank. Here we go. Fear in a little bit of trouble. Fear more than likely to go down. Penance gets dropped. Stun as well. Maledict, ton of damage. Gets his ulti off, but... It's not going to be enough. CC and Seal tank up quite a bit of damage, but another good rotation by Optic. They're just playing the map. Arcane Rune on TB too. This is going to be a tier 2 pressure. Maybe. <laughs> Sends Gyro back to base. Doesn't look like it will be here. He might go bottom or top instead, but I think you want to meta with the Arcane Rune for sure. Yeah, that's... There's a Blink Dagger and Smoke picked up by Smail. Who's the kill? It feels like this is almost a guaranteed kill. Is it... Oh, they're looking for middle. Oh, and they, the TB is going to be there. Fear going to come in. They're just going to pick off Zai. Crit isn't going to die from that Malik, I don't think. Oh, Sunder. Zai almost gets sent home. Crit might die. He's going to die now because Peter's just chilling up here for some reason. It worked I'm out. He almost living. sent Zai home, yeah. When in doubt as a support, sit on a high ground somewhere. You'll at least be a living ward. Look at that. He gets the kill because it. He almost got a send back on Zai. He did it from uphill, but... One for one, we still have not seen the reveal of the blink. This is an RTZ Sumail. Oh no, this does not look like a rotation you want to make if you're an EG. They do not know what's going on right behind the CC and C though. And they see the Firefly, I'm sure. We're going to find one. It is going to be Peter. Will it be a quick kill? Looks like it might be. RTZ actually goes on the backside on Zai. He's going to throw that Lance. Nope, just hits him, gets the kill. A top lane getting pressured by Optic. The one thing about the Enigma pick is that it gives Optic a really nice timing, both with the HOD and the BKB. The HOD is really nice on this team, and that's the item he's going for. He might die up here, though. He has ulti, however. I am... That he was actually... a full stick. He might just ult here. Ooh, I would have let him... 
I think that was a mistake too. Misery actually chili fingered while crit was in the snowball. I think if you have those extra chili mm -hmm. finger hits, he's dead. Yep, you're probably right. Fear gets a kill on Zai. They're trying to chase down. He has Maledict on him, but now look at this. He's nice, gonna man. just TP out. Nope. Yeah, so the HOD timing on Enigma is so sick in this game. And while the hero, like, the way they played it makes a lot of sense. Where the Chen, like, really was never playing with Enigma, it feels. Unless it was, like, the Witch Doctor, mostly. And Chen was just everywhere else on the map. But the downside of Chen Enigma is only really felt playing with it in the early game. But now, you have all these creeps, and you're going to have this crazy tempo timing. Where you have, like, Eidolons, HOD, Enigma ult, send back threat, level 6 medallion on Chen. Like, you're just going to be so strong. You can just push this tower. PL bottom, though. He'll get that tower in, in exchange. Misery will feed him so way. Well, Sumail's actually going for 33. He's going to get sent home. Stun's going to fly. Do they have the time? They barely get it. And now Peter. Well, he's just going to die, too, it looks like. And the creeps. That's a bigger deal. Feels like... What a slow death. There. Crit thought about taking What are they doing up there? Is my question to you, Grant. You hey. see this area of the map? Hey, this you... Very... That's a good question. You were the one who told me they were going to take the tower, Kyle. And I'm seeing that tower still standing. I, I thought I thought they wanted the tower. They wanted hey, more whoa, than that. Whoa, whoa, yeah. You don't have to say your excuse to me. Just came, but now Arteezy's had time to farm. Look at the gold lead. There is a over 1,000 gold lead for EG now. And this is one of those things. We, we talked about it negatively last game, where they, they just want to always play in all three lanes, win or lose. But this game, I mean, mm -hmm. you've seen the rotation from the cores of Optic. And when you're rotating two cores every gank, the other lanes are just going to be free farming. It feels like what happened right here. Oh, crit. Peter, Sumail, they're all going to meet up here. Oh, and crit doesn't hit the... It's about like his third missed block. Maybe it wouldn't have been a kill because 33 is there, but he's just a, a little bit off every time. That rider going force, pretty standard. Any items coming up? The Terror Blade's getting drums. Do you like that instead of the a dragon lance? Mm. It feels like your your gyro's getting one too. You do okay. I, I just think drums is a better item than people give it credit for. It's like by far my favorite item, and I think when you're going like, look at their lineup, right? All of their heroes benefit from drums, and it's just great to have because it'll win you the fight. And yeah, maybe it's a little more efficient to have a dragon lance, but. The drums like pay for themselves if it gives you like one extra kill, one more fight that leads to Roche. You know, it's just it's just a more team friendly item, and I'm a I'm a big believer in the power of friendship and teamwork and loyalty most of all. <laughs> most of all, I know back when uh, during Kings Cup, you talked about you love the like the casual buckler uh, on teams, right? Because it's why don't we see more teams get it? W wait, was that you or Moo actually? I thought you both liked it, but I know Moo said it was like the best thing ever. Wait, what's the best thing uh, ever? Drums? Ca casual buckler. Oh, oh I, I, that's, that's all me, baby. Arteezy, you need armor. Casual armor is good shit. And oh. I've said to every team I've played with in my entire life, I'm playing against Slardar, buy armor. And a lot of people take that to heart. Because you gotta we, buy armor against Slardar. Yo, the drum. He's gonna try to get up. Oh, look at this. He's just bringing him. That was... Well played. Really well played. Yep, doesn't let him get the Sunder off. And that's sticky napalm, right? Do you expect anything less from Sumel, though? No. I mean, we saw his bird micro last game was a saving grace at a few of those fights. And there is a defusal on Arteezy, though, so... It's not like... I mean, that death was bad, but he already had bought his items. Every death is bad, I don't know. That's one of those things. Yeah, I, why'd I say it? You know what I'm saying? I'm picking up what you're putting down. Alright. Well, CCNC's gonna get... Oh! Def he doesn't have the defusal. I lied. He still needs the... Robe of the Mad Guy. Alright. I was like, wait, why didn't he use it right there? That's a free kill. Okay, he doesn't have it. And top lane now. This is looking like they're just, they're pushing dead on into the, the tier one with everything. And you look at the net worth now. 6.3k PL is the highest in the game. Then bad, but then TB. This is what, It just feels like TB is always one of those heroes that can just... As long as he's not bottom net worth, you're, you're completely fine with that. A Blast gonna fly in now. And actually, they're rolling in Pie Cat. He does still have Sunder. There it is. That was that was ambitious.
Very ambitious. Our oh, is the back one. oh look at this. Kill There's kill a buyback. Oh, CC and C's in a lot of trouble. They still have Black Hole. Nice trap in this time. I think crits get a dieback for nothing. Jeez. Well, now that lead. was, was ambitious. ambitious. That, was a, <laughs> that is a gold lead again for uh, Optic yeah. Gaming. They're going to go for this tier two. Bottom it's like lane. trying to ask out Reese Witherspoon. It's just not going to work out. It, I mean, it might. Oh, top lane, Black Hole comes in, it hits on the two of them, A-Blast get a fly and hit Pycat again, Fear, very tanky, we're just going to see a TP and a send home, wow. that's a Black wow. Hole for a bat, but a very, very farmed bat, so hmm. Optic again, nice movements. A really good play by PPD on the Chen this game. A ton of clutch sendbacks and just really good movement in general. Like, they're making the draft work, I think, mostly because of where he's positioned himself. Yeah, as you said. CC and C a bit behind, but look at that. What he's got queued up, Grant. That's a BKB. And that item's going to matter. And he recognizes all he's got to do is make space for his boy Piecat, because that's the guy that's going to carry the game. Peel going Ags. I like that, actually. There's so much shit on the enemy side. Eidolons... Chen creeps, TB illusions. He'll have a lot of illusions. He will. And it's just decent in team fights altogether, right? Spread the love, spread the damage. We see a smoke gang coming, Sumail crit. Oh, but look at again. Every time Sumail smoke gangs, there's like four heroes. They will find CC and C. Is Peter there to save his eyes here now? But the coconut's gonna bounce. It's not gonna bounce, it's only gonna hit once. No, it is still bouncing. I lied. Now Sumail, he's going to get warded down. He's trying to run. He's going to eat the rocket. Can 33 catch up to stun him in five seconds? It looks like they'll be able to because that rocket's flying. Crit finally goes down and CCC right clicks, kills him. Misery, you're just dead. In comes Arteezy, though. He's going to try to do something. 33, Peter dies from fear behind. They get Misery, and now will he make it? I don't believe so. Goes down. And so that's a... Pretty much just you trade off laners and you get an extra support if you're Optic. But a lot of that gold goes to Fear and Arteezy there. It's Pycat. So Pycat almost has his Manta now. Do you want to push when you get that Manta? Or because you're a Terrorblade, you're, you're cool just farming and maybe like TPing defensively to a fight? I think if you TB, you always want to be in, a, in the furthest lane. You want to mirror the enemy team's map movements and then decide do I want to keep pressuring for a tower or teleport to help my team. You never really want to be in a position, it's the same as Lycan, where you're on the safe side of the map. You want to like just mirror and then be able to threaten objectives. That's your main purpose anyway. Uh, makes complete sense now that you think I have so multiple lanes push. All right. Dire they got some wards bottom. They got an aggressive ward bottom. We saw them place it when they're smoked up. We got one middle. We got one safely middle as well. While Radiant, they've got aggressive ward to at the top shrine, which scouts at the river as well. And then you have the one bottom. Arteezy almost clears out all of Peter's creeps. He summons a middle. But wait, I think they know that now, because he summoned that one Wildwing Ripper middle, and it's alive under a ward. This should be scouted out if EG has the, uh, I believe they know something's up. Oh, and here we go. There to go. CC and C is here. He's going to get hit by that. Can they bring him down? He doesn't actually get hit by the damage, though. Just ticked by it, but oh, canceled up. 33 in a ton of trouble now as well. This is a fight EG wanted to take for sure. Well, they're winning it, so of course they want to take it. But Zai going to run in, sent home. Peter going to try to get a win. I think the bigger thing of that fight is not that you kill, get two kills, but you get two kills while Black Hole was used. Yep, and PL's farming the entire time, actually taking out the tier two in the meantime. And it, so that's two objectives, two kills, one Black Hole down. That seems... I, wow. I don't like the blink on CCNC. Or, sorry, 3-3. Three, three. I think you want to just play for the BKB timings and, like, walk into Roche. You don't want to be taking a fight into EG, like, by going at them where they can just get the Tusk saves off, the lasso on a free target. You don't want to go on like the Viper in the middle either. And you kind of force that to happen when you try and blink in and cast some spells. And I think they could have just waited for timings and forced Roche, but now they're in a position where Enigma and Gyro are both going to fall off. And it's like TB versus the world. And there's plenty for TB on the side of complexity right now. Wow, uh, evil geniuses right now, sorry. Oh, you're good. 
<laughs> uh, what was I say? Oh yeah, and, and like you're talking about, right? Instead of having a BKB with that blink, it allowed if you don't catch crit, he's gonna snowball you every time. That was a very long cast range, and he did. Do they? So the only thing they have is punch through BKB. Yeah, that feels like a, a weird blink. Do you think it's because Optic wanted to just push the tempo a lot? That's the reason you get a blink, right? Hmm. I mean, wh yes, why do you think but you got it? I, I just yeah. don't like Blink, because Blink gives no stats. Blink is only effective if its usage puts you in a super advantageous position or leads to a kill. Otherwise, it... I don't know, man. It just it makes you want to do stuff, right? And sometimes the best Ooh, thing to do is just nothing. Oh, and he skips past Zai. He's going to find the Enigma. They're all going to get hit by that AA blast. Yep, see you later, Enigma. See you later, Zai. In come the Centaurs. Well, let's see what they can do. Reflection's going to do a ton of work. Don't get me wrong, Crit. Is taking a ton of damage, Maledicted, he goes down, the stun's flying, Fear goes down as well. But they're gonna finish everyone off. Misery dies, Pycat out of mana. Why buyback, sir? And a buyback comes from Zai, but Pycat's gonna go down, and now Zai might just die, right? No, he might not, he's, he's dead. He's dead. So that's a, that's what we call a team wipe, but yes. with an extra kill. I think RTZ's item choice this game is, again, I, it really just feels like an NA Dotem item, item, item choice is the way to go. Like, this axe Genius, is just yeah. crushing, yeah. And, man, that, you, you see the power though, right? We, obviously the game's not over, it's 5k leads, great for EG, but Optic, man, that reflection at the beginning of the fight with like two people maledicted, they just killed themselves. Mm -hmm. I'm just, ah, uh, man, I, I don't like the Manta on TB. I like the drums, I like the Yasha, but I feel like you just need a BKB. I think the whole oh, team the just needs a BKB, and they're all buying items that aren't BKB. Oh, my bad for missing that kill, guys. I think Kyle might have too. How, 33 just ran and died to our yeah, he, just got la he just got lanced into Ail and died. Not much you can do about it. Oh, right. Yikes. HOD on the Viper, Ags finished as well. So Optic, they, they had a nice start. They had some good rotations, get those uh, a few early towers. They're still a tier one standing, bottom lane. That, that feels weird, right? You'd think with a Chen, it's so easy to push towers, but it feels like the, the safe lane when, it, oh, pardon me, middle. A Blast, it's just gonna go over him. But CC and C, he's just dead. Can't send him home quick enough. Wouldn't matter yeah, anyways. Eagles finished on Sumel as well to interrupt it if they need to. It's one of the only things that you can buy to actually get rid of it. Now they just go right into Roche. So you are Optic right now, Kyle. Mm -hmm. Not that I'm predicting the future, but what do you do? <laughs> you have the Blink Dagger from 33. You, you don't have a BKB. Do you just, is this like a, a hope for a sick hole kind of game or is there something a little more maybe standard, easier they can do? Hmm. I'm not quite sure, to be completely honest. Sometimes not. I, I mean, when I see Enigma in a game, I look around like, well, Black Hole, obviously a sick Black Hole can win any game, but what can they do that doesn't require you to hit an amazing ultimate? And it feels a lot rougher. And look at this, Sumail actually finds Pycat. A Blast coming in, get ready. He's waiting for that A Blast to hit. He's just gonna let him die in the fire. In the oh, I love it. Oh, Sumail. Fire and ice, baby. Dude, the... Like, he, oh, he didn't have lasso. My bad. I was even clicked on him. That's so smart. He just dies to Abe last. Oh. They find yeah, at him. this point, PL is just going to run away with the game, I think. And I just love the item build. I can't stress it enough. Uh, I think that the Ag is just it gives them this timing where they are strong enough to take fights, and it's been demonstrated. If they had waited for the BKB Gyro, BKB Enigma, all of a sudden, like, PL can't actually play aggressive, whereas this item's given him the ability to just sort of be the strongest hero on map and give his team someone to play around. Blink on Tusk as well, just in case uh, he gets jumped by something. And it's going to be the full butterfly pretty much after he finishes these two camps. Peter farming buff. He's trying to push this tier one, get a little bit of team to all this A blast. Is he gonna kill me, the creeps? No. There goes the top tower as well. This feels like the series right now, I mean, if EG ends up winning, which it feels kind of likely, I don't mean to beat around the bush, it feels like it just PL'd, right? PL won game number one. I mean, Zai was very yep, good game number one, but point. it just Agreed. PL, like, how do you. How do you beat a PL that's fourth? You just can't pick heroes that are bad versus PL. 
and hope they don't pick it I mean, later? Or what? I, I don't know how both teams didn't see the PL coming. I mean, the, the first game, they just kind of, EG knew it was going to happen, but they couldn't do much about it. You got to ban Brood instead. But this game, this is a real obvious PL pick, and they just give it away and then don't really counter him. Like, TB and Enigma are not the greatest matchups against PL. It's not bad, but, you know, could have picked many other things. I, I really, I think that Brew could have been real nice from Optic, to be honest, but, oh well. Oh, bottom top lane, pardon me. Well, that's just the base, whatever. Arteezy just get it. Look, I love it. You get so many illusions, like you said, because every Lance hit gives you an illusion. They hit so hard, too, because of the butterfly. Like, he's gone pretty much the max damage build you can. Uh, down bot, crit, just pushing out the lane. So they're not really looking to fight. They're just doing what I think, you know, typical teams control the two lanes. One guy pushes in the bottom lane, and now Bat's finding a pickoff on the gyro. Oh. He just gets the BKB off the A, I'll barely miss. There's a Lance bouncing around, 33. Definitely can't just, sometimes solo holding a core, you know, could work. Not when it's PL on the low ground, the rest of his team's up top. So BKB use, and the thing is, I mean, he uses Tensei and BKB. It's not like they really use big cooldowns right there, right? You have the Batrider plus AA ulti. You're not too worried about spamming those out. Yeah, and they get the BKB charge as well. So, I mean, they're, they're really just not in a hurry. You know, they're still, they still have Aegis. They're in a pretty good position in the game. I, I do think EG might want to utilize this Aegis, though, but we'll see. It's hard to go high ground into this team, especially when you have Chen Sen backstory about and just the one heals. Misery building a Kaya. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, okay. That's about all I said. I didn't say it was good or bad. I was like, okay. Okay. Would you per... I mean... This feels like it would have been, could he just not farm the Veil? But, I mean, you have a Bat Rider. Wouldn't it have been another decent Veil game on AA? Uh, I wouldn't have minded him. If they're going to play the game this way, I wouldn't have minded a Midas into, like, a Hex or something. Like, I, I think you want some some more impactful item. Kaya's nice, but it doesn't increase, like, the amp of your Vortex. It's only your own damage. So, I just don't like it as much as I would something that helps his team. Like, even a Force Staff, you know, a Glimmer Cape, perhaps. Glimmer Cape's always good. I still think Glimmer Cape is the most underrated. Even if five people picked it up on a team, I'd still say it's underrated. I think it's such a good item. I just really, we have not seen a Glimmer Cape at all today in either of these two series. We see some sort of a drawing from EG thing. There might be a smoke gank, but Optic is just sitting in base right now. You see the, the two sentries, so there's no way. Oh, oh, pardon me. There's going to be a lasso here, and Peter's just dead. Yep. There goes the Lance. Only it's one. Next step for EG is just a gem. I think a gem on bat would help them out a lot here. But at the same time, they lose the gem. It's in the trouble town. Oh, and CC and C. Oh, 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 God, the damage from just Arteezy solo. He gets the kill off, and then they get black hold. Will PL be okay? That's the question. Doppelganger here. Can he get out of there? He's trying to run. It looks like he will. Nice man to dodge, but they force meta. Uh, no Roche for three to five minutes, but I think they're happy with that. They get two kills, force meta, Arteezy's still huge, and if you look at the item progression of Enigma Gyro, it's kind of just fallen off the face of the earth. Tusk now out, GPMing CCNC. Thanks, 90 G. I mean, it's not just 90 GPM talents. Taking every tower, Roche, and a 90 GPM talent. He's been farming this bottom lane for what feels like the last ten minutes. It's really only five, but still. Their advantage has gone from eight to fifteen in the duration of that first Aegis they picked up. This and feels uh, Arteezy... He's got a Shiva skewed up. I saw it. This feels like when you push, though, right? Black Hole's dead. Down, pardon me. Gyro's dead. Yep. Smell's just Meta's gonna be. Oh, and he goes on. Oh, hey. Okay, they need to work on that combo a little more, but it looks like Terra Blade. Wow. He, like, pre sent, sent him back when he yeah. saw the bat. Well done. 33. Oh, he misses the block again. again. Will the illusions? They sure do enough damage with that butterfly, like you said. Maldix on a PL, though. He dodges the rocket. Gonna take some damage. Gets out of that. And I think he's just gonna be okay. That's a BKB pop. They might just go in with urns, right? They can continue pushing, it looks like. Man, this is going to be a long day, Grant. I'm, I might, like, need to actually tap out for, like, 20 minutes during the, the in-game break. Oh, and pack and get food and stuff. How about Because I'm going to be here casting till like, midnight. No, you're good. I mean, 
bro. I feel you. Do you want to do that next, or do you want to do it between? I feel like you should do it between the between series. series. You can do it. Between okay, series. Okay. I, was, I mean, I don't care. Yeah, if you want, you can take breaks whenever you want. I appreciate that you don't. It's a sign of a, of a real trooper, Kyle. When I think of a trooper, I think of you, and not that straight trooper who pulled me for going two over. I hate that guy. Really, I think of super troopers. They, did the second one come out yet? I know it was a big deal, and it got uh, like crowdfunded. It should. Oh, right. oh Dyer's courier. Dies to an illusion. Oh, that's some pretty poor micro. And some good, uh, good micro by Pycap, pardon me, and some bad micro by EG. So Crimson Card Tusk, oh, just feels like you try to take a team fight, right? Reflection goes up on the other side, Crimson Guard goes up on one side, and it's gonna be a lot of chaos. I'm glad I have a good computer. I think this this game might actually like kill someone's computer with all the, the animations once Shiva gets picked up. He's going Scotty But instead. it won't be. I, I was like, but it won't yeah. be. Mm -hmm. I think it was just, uh, you just, you're just messing with us. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for people to start queuing up Sanj and Yasha just to fuck with me. Yeah. There's a gem on bat, but, by the way. So now they have, like, total vision control as well. The problem is, Kyle, I think people can't queue up SNY to fuck with you because 75% of NA Dota just queues up SNY seriously. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> Oh, uh, fear. Oh, Domino. Whoa, whoa, Black Hole, where is it? It's gonna be bottom, it's gonna be on, or top, on PL. Will they bring him down? Doppelganger's out, the Yule's there. He doesn't make it uphill, goes down. And look at this, Sumail as well. Not maledicted though, so he will live. There you go. Yeah. Now it's just EG getting a little greedy because Crit is still just playing this bottom area of the map. He's the one handling that lane. And in the meantime, uh, RTZ and Sumail are just cutting these mid and top waves. So their advantage is going up, but they are susceptible to that. But that right there is the issue with this Enigma last pick, where that's their catch. And now there's no Enigma ult for another 150 seconds. They have no real way of starting fights, with the exception of that right there. Do you think that might be a do-or-die situation? Roshan respawns three seconds before PL does. But you don't have a black hole up. Do you just give away the Rosh for free? Do you have to, if you're Optic? I think you have to. I mean, you can try and contest, but you need a BKB on Enigma. Um, and the problem is you're going to be just going into PL. Your, your gyro is pretty much a creep at this point, especially with the Crimson Guard. It's kind of Terrorblade versus the world. And all he's really got, he's got the Manta Scotty, but he doesn't do enough damage yet. Damn. If, I mean, if you dive the base for him, he's going to be able to finish you off. But if EG doesn't dive the base, plays safely like they were before that, Arteezy death. It's gonna be very tough. No catch, indeed. Smoke coming in bottom. They might find Terrorblade here. Really good illusion scout, but it's a nice smoke timing. He has a ward too, so he thinks he's safe. Oh, and he probably could have grabbed CC and C right away, but he wanted Pycat instead. He's gonna soar away, but he's That's dead. That's the gem. That's the gem. That's. That's big. Questionable. And now, oh, they're taking the Terrorblade and Nigga. Wait, the game is still winnable for Optic. Zai? Okay, well, Nice goes in. Oh, on the backside, they do find Arteezy. It's PyCat 33. They get a nice Centaur stop by PPD. He is going to somehow get out of their penance. Gets dodged. And now BKB'd up. Looks like they are just going to bring him down. Crit's trying to help him. That Crimson Guard takes up all the damage. Does he have another Doppelganger? Nope, he goes down. We have a buyback from Sumail. He's in this fight. They're going to get Gyro. Oh, PyCat doesn't get blocked in, though. You get the but gem Sumail's back. here. Oh, the Yule's under the TB send back. Holy shit. Oh my goodness, Huge like play. you said. And look at it, they, they get it! They finally hit the combo of Sumail plus Misery and what looked like possibly a suspect uh, buyback turns out really well for Sumail and just the fight in general. I think Zai TPing in there. Zai TPing in with 400 HP to his own shrine and he died instantly and then they took the fight. Arteezy though, he does go down. I mean... Is he fine? You never want your PL to die, but are you fine with that? You kill everyone on the other team and, and PL dies? You don't really have much other damage, though, or late game. I mean, it's worth, uh, it, again, as you said, the buyback paid off. I think if the gyro TB had turned down instead of continuing to chase upwards, they might have both lived, but they played away from the Chen, and that was the big issue there. And Chen had to then put himself in a poor position to save them.
Um, it's really just the ages. If they get ages on PL, I think this game's over, and that's going to be EG's next play. Like that, that's the weird thing about Dota right now, where EG's had total control, but you can't threaten, you can't break base very easily anymore. So it's really just waiting for Roche to respawn before they can actually go high ground. You're definitely playing against the the worst hero to lose a team fight to in Terrorblade. If they yeah. somehow do win a team fight, as you said, just Terrorblade will take your base. There's a full Hurricane Pike on Viper, as well as a Solar. That Solar Crest. I feel if you're the other four on EG, whatever, well, just get Solar Crest, Glimmer Cape, get everything. Just put on Arteezy. Just creeps middle. Oh, Arteezy's about to clear those bad boys out. This is a smoke. Oh, Arteezy! BKB Black Hole. Is anyone there to save him? Doesn't look late. He's going to go down again. I have a feeling he will Doppelganger out. Now we have another fight. Sumail comes in on the back lines. Oh, Peter's the first to die, and Snowball is saving him from this Maledict ticks. They go to Zai. He goes down, but he finally dies to the Maledict. But now Fear on the backside is doing so much damage. 33 needs to get out. He barely does. Zai buys back, but look at Pycat. Oh, he's getting kited by Sumail. He has that Sunder. He's getting pushed away. Oh, nice dodge on the Viper Strike. They're going in now. Will they burst him? They do. And Zai is dead. That's a dieback. CC and C as well with the buyback. I think he's just dead. He's CC and C. Wait, I'm watching the Sumail. I knew he was dead. Um, oh, no. Did he actually disconnect or did he rage quit? I think I. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I was me and Fear, you know, we're a little bit older. We we were in the same thing there. It definitely didn't feel like he CC and C's not a rage quitter, but well, in, no, no, no. in pubs I, he is. I, feel, but... <laughs> I think I think that might have been like the the cat on my keyboard excuse, like oh oh shit, I'm I bought back, I have no BKB and I'm feeding. Oh, sh I crashed. And damn, Sumail. I mean, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I think it was a crash. Sweet. Oh god, I'm glad I followed that, or else I would have looked really dumb missing the gyro kill. <laughs> Fist pump. I don't know why that voice sounds so funny. Uh oh, 33 is gonna find misery alone. Will the islands be enough? Oh my god, crit again. And you said it. I, I we kind of saw in the middle of the team fight, but crit saving PL for that long. The PL was gonna die, but the oh. fact that he bought that much, he just created chaos, right? Like where it, where are these two heroes that we were killing? And they're just gone. Yep. Just you can nice see the time. power though. Uh, the maledict onto PL will always be able to land the kill if they get it near the start of that uninterruptible BKB Enigma multi. And it's that that was the big the big thing that I don't want to say it was a one fight because of the buybacks and now Roche, but like they, it went better than they might have hoped. But the problem is you kill him once and then with no Enigma ult you can never kill him again. Here comes Roche. It is just cheese in an Aegis. Roche number two. You give the Aegis to Arteezy, you just give the cheese to like fear. Oh no, he's taking both. Alright. I think. Did he deny the cheese? I just can't see it. Nope, crit has it. Alright. I, I think Arteezy expects the cheese, though, because he just has his boots in his backpack, but crit's not giving it to him, and he's not moving his boots back. Alright. Uh, update from our sideline reporter. Uh, VGJ versus Complexity in the second game of the BO3 GESC NA Qualifier Finals. Yes, yes sir. Currently, VGJ taking their third racks. It looks like they will be 2-0 in Complexity and moving on to play in Thailand uh, up later in April, I believe. Uh, they seem to be on a roll, and they're also going to be playing the winner of this series. In a best of five. In a best of five. Good gracious. So, if EG... They need, to, they need to win this game to send it to game number two. I mean, that's you know VGJ's rooting for EG just to win this game, right? Like, give us a longer break, make all these guys play a little bit more. Or do you want... Maybe you don't want a break if you're VGJ. Whoa. Like, what was your... What's the your preferred break time between, like, different series and different tournaments when you played qualifiers? Uh, It, it depends on if you're rolling. I think that it's, it's hard to say because when you get, like, this late at night, you know... This series, this final series, especially if this goes game three, and I believe it will, um, you you won't be you'll be starting a BO5 at like 7:30, 8 o'clock. So it's just so late, you know. And you've been playing for so long. I think that the winner of this series will have an advantage just because they'll still be grooving, and VGJ is gonna have so long to do nothing. Right. AL coming in, he misses completely oh, wide left. He tried to get a time it with Sumail, but Sumail, the coconut from Zai, stuns him. It's a one for one. Way better for the Radiant side so far. And there's a BKB. Dyer's Courier dies again. And that's just a one for one. Bat for Chen. 
and you're inside your own base, I think you're okay with that as Optic. You did lose a Tier 3, so maybe you're not, but... And like you said, it just feels like the, the damage, right? Pycat, he, once he gets that butterfly, it's gonna be a whole new game. And it feels weird saying that at 40 minutes, but... That one item feels like it changed a lot. I mean, we've seen how many games where Terrorblade just, like, is super far behind, wins the fight, and wins the game, right? It's just, it's always possible, and EG has kind of tossed a couple of games recently, but I do believe that they just bait out this Enigma Black Hole at a point, and then they can just take the game. Hey man, I was talking about computer crashing and lag. I, I didn't, the uh, RTZ lag, yeah, right there, the reflection on all the illusions, oh my. That hurts the eyes. I don't know why I'm staring at it. Oh, there's a siege creep just chilling here. Alright, they get it. So you get a nullifier. PL can buy it now if he wants. He'll probably get it after that Aegis wears off. Do you you get a moon shard and I mean that's when you just try ending the game, right? You're six slotted, you can't go uphill anymore. Or can you? Do you like sell your defusal for something or is that defusal needed? Oh you need the defusal on PL, hundred percent. Oh finish the shrine up. Okay. Yeah, I think you can just lose boots. You'll lose the Aegis at a point and give it to, like, Viper or something. Now, this is, this is the game right now. It's going to be just EG's going to always be right outside the base. But you don't really just want to run in, like you said, to a Terror Blade, the uh, level 20 talent, reflection cooldown, and a black hole. Easy's real unit is in there, and he's attacking the Mailer X a few times. Solar Crested. He's bringing it down. His top lane getting pushed in. It is by the Viper. And look at the illusions. Oh my god. CCNC has no mana now. Arteezy actually dodges, but top lane, they find the Enigma. He is Glimmer caped up, so he's not taking as much damage. He BKBs. He just wants to run. Nice punch by Crit, but Fear in a lot of trouble. The heal from Peter on 33. They're not going to be able to finish him off. Will they? He gets sent home. Oh my god, he doesn't die. What a play. Peter is saving people right now. Arteezy in a little trouble. He's in the base. He did take He's the middle mana. barracks, though. He is. And Sumail? Maledict it up and rocketed. Maledict wears off, though. In middle lane, wow. Yeah, the, the only reason that fight went as well as it did for Optic is because Arteezy had no mana for like the last 30 seconds of it. Because he's just spamming Lance off cooldown and has no real item for mana regen, of course, because it's PL. Yep. Damn. I don't know. Yeah. Phew. I just felt like Peter got the, the Glimmer Cloak off on Chen as he was getting dragged, then healed him with his ulti as well as Test of Faith. I can't believe that Enigma lived there, and he didn't have to use Hole. Didn't die, didn't use Hole. Feels pretty good. I'm glad now that... I'm glad Chen's kind of not... They didn't get, like, super sewer buff, but it's nice seeing him not just be completely useless late game like they used to be. AA has an Aghanims now. That definitely would have been a dead uh, 33 if they had it there. Mm -hmm. How much longer is it? I guess I could just read. Yeah. It's one of those moments where I guarantee Misery is wishing he took that 60 GPM over that 10% spell amp. <laughs> that would be adding up. Yeah. I mean, right? That's like getting, that's just getting one creep a minute, but better than getting zero and it adds up. I forgot, are talents reliable or unreliable? Do you remember? I believe... Rel I actually have no idea. That's a great question, Grant. I should know that. I mean, you don't really think about it. If it's passive gold... It's I, unreliable, because yeah, it's, it's passive gold. Yeah, yeah exactly. you're right. I was making sure. That's just, yeah, I should have known that, but yeah. Right, I wasn't right. setting you up, though. I, just, I was trying to think of myself. I'm like, if it's, if it's reliable, that's pretty good. Unreliable. I mean, it's still good, obviously, but... Get a little bit less, you know, die a few more times. He's still pretty damn farmed for not having that 60 GPM talent, though. Kaya, Ags, and Solar Crest. And that's when you take all the tier 3s. So Sumail just gonna try to stop this push bottom. He will. Will he get any of these Chen creeps? Gets one. That's the thing. Uh, getting those Chen creeps is actually pretty nice, right? Because Peter can't really leave the base when everyone's alive. Like, he had to get all those creeps after they uh, won that fight. There it is, though. The Terror Blade Butterfly. He's gonna be level 25 as well. 
So Sunder. We assume he takes it. Sunder will be five second cooldown, no mana. You have the Chen send back as well. Terrorblade's feeling uh, not immortal, but he's feeling pretty hard to kill here. I mean, the, the big time is just a rapier on the TV, but he's going Butterfly. He's going to go Mjolnir next. Uh, maybe a, a rapier on the Gyro. Like, he's got a Lincoln skewed up right now. I really think you just buy a rapier. He's, They're too even, far behind. Yeah. Even if Gyro, like, it feels like Gyro needs one item plus a rapier, and then it'd be okay, but I think you just die if you buy a rapier here. They're just going to aim you so hard. The thing is, you can, uh, because PL's spamming illusions, it's very easy to flack um, off of them. And, you know what I mean? So you'll always have a target. You can just kind of play safe. But thing is, EG's playing this game really just slow and methodical. They're just spamming illusions, vipers in the front, and they're not really putting themselves in a position where the supports are ever going to die. So easier said than done. Bat's just watching for a, a window. He has a gem. There's no vision on the Radiant side. They know this. He's placed a ward in base, too. That'll probably get sentried in a second by Zai. A ult coming through. Peter, and now a pause, lag. TZ DCs, crit and fear and sumail. We're all gone here, just misery chilling. So, do you keep this AGS because of the pressure it provides on PL, or like is that is that the first one you just replace it right now for a heart or something? I think you keep the Ags just because of the nature of the game. Later on, you can get rid of it, but you definitely get rid of Boots here next. Okay. Do you get rid of Boots, or do you get Boots of Travel? Or because you're just sitting in front of the base, you just never have to? Uh, I just don't think you need them. You're, you're an agility hero, so you have a butterfly if you really need to get out of dodge. I'm not quite sure what you'd replace it with, though. Like, what item does PL need here, you That's know what I mean? Thing. What about... We saw it, what, a, a couple days ago? What about the butter, the double butterfly PL for the damage, or no? He has a butterfly. No, I'm the double butterfly. Remember when we saw that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I actually think, especially because he needs mana, because he's been spamming so much, I wouldn't mind a Bloodthorn here to finish off his item progression. It also allows him to, like, doom a core. So, like, the bat lasso somebody in. The nullifier also purges Chen Sen back. So if he just drags in a gyro or a TB, he gets Orca Nullifier, that hero just explodes. Especially with the crit talent on PL. Mm -mm -mm. Man, I feel like one of these supports on EG should just have a, a Basilisk. Decent, I mean, just that two armor, but just the mana regen for TZ. Like you said, I mean, already, if they start a fight right now, is he really going to have mana for that whole fight? Yeah. CCNC lanced, glimmered. I wish he just put these illusions. I know killing the ranged Drax isn't like the biggest deal. I know, I know, but, dude. But you why not? just want to see him hit it, right? Yeah, like, like what? You're hitting the melee. If you're not going to commit to taking it, it just doesn't make sense. There. Yeah, all right. I think he heard me. I must be a bug in the game or something. I also think it's good just because then, you know, you limit the amount of gold you get from the archers. You get half gold for them for the rest of the game. No. Gotta play that War of Attrition, it's economics. It's true, I mean, it's not like Optic can't go anywhere. CC and C can only go uphill. You're a gyrocopter without can much farm. Can I go anywhere? Because I want out. I want out of this game. I've wanted out of this game for a while, Grant. Nah, you can watch. You're good. Oh, here comes our TZ, no mana. Huge ALT on three. Now that's maybe your cue to do stuff. Rocket on Arteezy. Alright, he didn't dodge it. Alright. There's a Lance. I mean, Arteezy has to go back and heal. He just doesn't have mana. I feel that, that I'd be fine with this, because I, I think they would have taken the range racks by now top if Arteezy just aimed it. But they're just buying time for Roche, and it has been bought. So you're going to have, I would assume, what, double Batrider ulti? I think is the only real play, or double AA? Yeah. I think it's double bat or double AA. I think bat is better though. And Arteezy will probably take the Aegis. Sue takes the cheese. Nope. Oh, wrong one, PL. There you go. 
Yeah, this is this is the time. He is going Bloodthorn. He heard me. I told you. Right. He heard about the range Drax. He heard about the Bloodthorn. Mm -hmm. Either that or we're both really Dude, smart Bob and he's smart. No, Bob is watching the stream right now. Let's be real. I know he's in chat. He's just fucking taking notes. He's realizing that he could make a lot more money as a coach by just listening to our stream more often. I, you know, I, I did watch Bulba during time. He actually watches in-game with no commentators, so... Not. You know he's okay, got us on. There's no way. <laughs> BKB, oh, and they go into the snowball. They dodge a lot of damage. High cats in the middle. He does get ulted up by the Bat Rider. Refresher shard not used yet. Black hole in the back oh! hits on two. See you later, Sumail. Fear in a lot of trouble, too. Pie Cat hasn't even used Sunder yet, and it's not fine. Fear eats that cheese. A PD terrible, yeah, and Pie Cat just eating him alive, but oh, he's getting chased down. There's the Thunder. Sunder now, but here's the second Bat Rider ulti. Will it be enough? Sunder's back up again, I'm pretty sure. And no, it is not. But he, wait, he Set took that. The, he's got some. Wait, he took the attack range? Sorry. That was on me. I didn't realize that. Misery gets a kill. Zai's gonna die. That, there's no way that's the play. Yeah, that's right. And now 33's in a lot of trouble. Arteezy, he wants to die. Give me full mana, baby. Nah, I won't let you, bud. Wait. Oh. I think. Send back. I feel like you. Crit should have just let him go, right? Give Arteezy the kill and then respawn. But now he's in trouble. We'll see what they have. A lot of buybacks from every team. Arteezy is right-cling down the gyro. They don't have the vision, though, so he gets Glimmer Clay out of there. Pike taking a ton. He gets the Sunder off again. Black hole number two comes out. See you, Fear. See you, Arteezy. Hey, yo. Oh, it hey, does whiff, and now they're going to kill him as well. There is two buybacks on PL Viper, though. So the two major cores are there, and wow. Let us go see who didn't buy back. Just pretty much Enigma, Viper, PL. Wow, what a bloodbath. I really think CCNC just buys a scrape here, and they go win game right now. I could be, I don't know, we'll see. He might just buy a butterfly, but... I, I don't like that he's got this much goal in the game he's behind. I know you want buyback, but at this point, your TB has no buyback, right? You've got to all in for a fight, because if TB dies again, the game ends. Yeah. I, yeah. I, oh, I heard BKB. You did too. All right. I saw your cursor fly down there. And well, now Sumail, no BKB for this next engagement, if there is one. I mean, CCNC needs to buy something, right? I hope so. Like, uh, I think... Butterfly or Rapier would be great. You're just pushing up hill with 5,000 five, 5, dead gold with man, no buyback. It's, it's that like feels really weird. Man. Stocks, bonds, cryptos, doesn't matter what it is, but buy something. They're seeing if they can defend. I mean, are you just waiting for... When does PL buy back or does he just not? If you can save it, you do. If you're Optic, you need to pressure harder though, but they really can't because he's seeing has 6,000 gold. And are you fine losing this rack since... You've already yes. mirrored the Rax. Rax is worth it for PL buyback, especially when you have a six minute window where if TB dies, you win the game. They pop meta though. They do, and in comes OE, the grabs the wrong one. A Blast will come in and hit the real one though. Sumail almost dies to illusions. He BKB's crit. Hello. Just runs up. Will they find anyone? No one has buyback for the most part on Radiant. But they won't. CCNC bought the butterfly. Oh, and the range barracks goes down to the double siege unit. So it's a pretty much mirrored map now, except for that tier three gone top. But like you said, EG, they're up, they're still up 22k gold, but it's a Terrorblade buyback while PL does have a buyback. He's going for the Bloodthorn. Do you think not having that five second Sunder is, is a mistake or am I, am I reading that wrong? Is the 300 attack range good or? I mean, Usually, yeah, but you're playing against a melee carry and, and an AA. Like, I feel like he, I don't think he had to buy back that fight if he would have just had it, but hindsight. Do you know, do you know how insane it is to have a zero ma Like, it costs zero, zero mana. mana. Yeah, you can't even make the argument that exactly. you'll be oomed because of the PL. That's what you I have know. a five-second cooldown health swap. That also works on PL Illusion. That's why I'm just confused. But I'm confused. <laughs> Peter level 20. What's 25? All the four. Four max persuasion use. That's nice. And here we go. It's kind of a smoke gank. Not really. I'm sure they know something's here since they just see the fire on the ground. I gotta say, this is approaching the point where EG's lead is meaningless. Yeah. They've now effectively not won the game on the third Roche. And even though they're 23k ahead, weren't they 20k ahead? Of like, I, I, it's gotta be like 25, 30 minutes into the game, right? And there's a refresher on Enigma. So all of a sudden, once he gets a Zion disc, him being targeted isn't even a thing. 
and eventually the gyro TB will carry. One of them will buy a rapier, and like Viper falls off. Bat falls off. PL is even gonna fall off just because he's six slotted. Like the hero's still good, of course, but at a point, this reflection and flack are just gonna kill all his illusions. It feels like it really does feel like the only lead EG has right now is the fact Terrorblade doesn't have buyback, but they're not really getting punished for that. So if you're, I mean, if you're EG right now, you, you, you're at this situation. I mean, what would you, t what would you tell them to do? Like, what, what should they do? I mean, somebody needs to buy a hex. Like, please God, somebody buy a sheep stick. That's number one. Um, I think. I, that's really all I would even say. Like, you need to be able to hex somebody and kill them, I think. Ideally, the Enigma, but you gotta be worried about these sendbacks as well. That's the big issue. Um, I think a Shadow Blade on Bat wouldn't be bad just to, like, gain more, like, just to kill somebody. Like, I don't think they have a gem right now on the Radiant side, and really all he needs to do is Lasso Terror Blade. Oh, and win the get game. ready. Black Hole possible. Glimmer Cape in, 33, they find him. Who are they gonna find? Nobody, but he doesn't use the black hole. Nicely done by him there, actually. And now 33 is just dying on the backside. There's gonna be, okay, well, he has a buyback. He's the one here on the team with the buyback. He's gonna buyback immediately over there. Sumail barely survives. Fear gets a double. Pycat trying to bring anyone down. Lance on the back, they're just kiting him around right now. And the Metamorph's attack rage is doing some work right now, but he's attacking Fear, who, so one person doesn't feel too good. On the backside, CC and C is getting chased down. Misery, can he hit the snipe? Doesn't look like it. So we'll head back here. BKB popped by Pycat. 33. He still has Black Hole. They find Zai. Well, he's got to refresh there. before ulting for the BKB. He doesn't want to use it, so guess what? So that was a one for zero. What a long team fight in the buyback. Oh, two for zero, pardon me. Chen died as well. I I like the idea, but there's no reason not to wait for that fight for Roche. If you make that play for Roche, it's going to be worth it. They'd also have time for the TB buyback to come off cooldown, but now they're in a position where Enigma's already refreshed, and you give EG a window. It's not a huge deal, because... I mean, it kind of is because he wants that Aeon disc, right? As soon as he has that, the lasso no longer threatens Enigma, but instead, once the bat identifies him, if you lasso this Enigma, he is dead. And that'll be the case until he finishes Aeon Disc. So they will not have that item for the fight at Roche. And and that's all the is gonna wait for now. You know, you get a you get an Aegis on Viper now, I imagine. You get another refresher shard on the bat, and yeah. Top lane misery is just dead. I'm pretty sure he's just dead here. Huh. Or is he? He's very tanky. He is tanky, but there's no way you let him get away, especially the reflection spam. Now Kretsch just kind of ran in, too. He needs to get vision so he can get uphill. There we go. He needs to cast it, too, though. And there he blinks, so I always waiting for the blink. My bad. That was... Misery has buyback, but he just sat up there. He didn't even ward. That felt really weird to me. So, still just one barracks down versus one bar I mean, pretty much at this point, you win a team fight, you, you just go take the throne. Both teams have tons of damage. Oh. Um, this game is the, this is the part of the game that I hate because it's literally just it's just who blinks first, right? It's gonna be one fight, one little movement, but I I, I just don't know if I like the way EG played this game out. They're like they shouldn't have been in a position where this could happen. Like they might lose this game in one misstep. Like a double enigma is coming up real soon, and this TB is huge. He's just gonna matter. Are they just gonna go for throne? What's happening? I feel they're definitely. It feels like they're just trying to. Bait that buyback to me. No, they're gonna BKB Sumail is, and he's just dead, I think. Oh my, he gets away from all the attacks, but they gotta clear his illusions, they will. On the backside, Black Hole flies. It's gonna be Arteezy, he goes down, he has no buyback. Oh, yeah. That's 106 seconds, crit. Takes time to damage, no Sunder. Yeah, he used it like, not that second play, but that first, and now it's Optic. I believe they might just win, Sumail's here. We see a kill coming out, but it's TB, and he has buyback. Nine seconds on the refresher. Yep, and there it is, will he go down? He does die, so possibly no not. PL, 80 cents, they're trying to just kill Gyro, they will, and the supports of EG are, are just coming in clutch, massive. It's a five-man, four-man buyback from Optic to end this game, and it feels like they can, and Misery, the fact Misery doesn't have a buyback right now feels really bad. Oh, CCNC is going to die, though, that's a dieback. 
What the fuck? No, no what the one. What's happening, dude? Like, What's don't going you just on, you just wait for your team right there, right? I like, don't know. You had a four-team buyback, and now PL's alive in 55. What can Sumail and Crit do? It's Apparently a lot. That yeah, feels like it. Oh, he's maledicted, though. Uh-oh, Zai gets it up, and that feels like it could be the game changer. BKBs, he's dead. He has a buyback. He's going to use it. And now we see Pygate. Oh, he wants oh. to get this Sundra off. Will he? Will he get punched? He does. Oh. Do they have anything? No, he does. Oh. And he'll get it. Pycat kills Crit. Now he's going for the throw and a buyback from Viper. He just got it. I didn't even look at that. The status comes up. Throws Zolti, and I think they're going to be able to defend here. Yeah, they're just killing him. He has got to get sent back. No, you'll. Oh, the old. Oh, so close. Lots of buyback on Zai. And bottom, Peter. They're going to kill both of them. That's a no buyback. Do you just run? You run at him, right? PL live in five? Oh, Alright, he's just so, taunting. So the earlier buyback from Enigma was paramount there because he also had to refresh. If he has a refresher there, they win the game. Like, he had an ult, they kill RTZ with it. No buyback for two minutes. But he dies before the refresher comes up, seven seconds away, or Optic literally just win the game there. If they regroup after the PL kill, they win the game. Man, look at the. I he also didn't send back a couple times on bots heroes. They, you can play for send backs in this sort of game, especially when you're forcing the sole Yules on the enemy team to be used defensively just because TB's hitting him in the face. Refresher on Sumel. Whoa, whoa. He's gonna find the TB, he's gonna try to bring him all the way back. In three seconds. Trying. Oh, there's the ulti. I get here. 33 only gets it up. He misses the PL. And now we're just going to see it. He does have the Sunder, though. He's going to use it. But he used it on the wrong target. PL's dead. No buyback. And 33. I'm sorry. That's a good first ulti. But you're just going to go down here. He dies. No buybacks. This is no hard on PL, though. This is a good thing for Optic. But there's a re. Oh, my God. The regen? Oh, Sumail's going to. No, they call it. <laughs> Dude. What the fudge <laughs> was like? <laughs> I really, I really felt like Optic had that game won. I'll say it. I thought Optic had the game won in in the enemy base. And look at that. Why? Why they rush it though? Yeah, I thought I I think CC like they, and C's the the dieback was the worst, right? Because it was just him and Pycat after everyone bought back, but he was in there alone. But like, why? Weird. Why are you like you forced the AA buyback? You force the Yules on Sumel, like, why not just chill a bit, right? Like, you can just hang out, let the Refresher come back up. Like, you, they killed Arteezy, like, just hang out. Like, even if you have to send Enigma back to base, the the way, I, it's like the win window, you know? Where you know you have two minutes where the only guy on the enemy team that, like, matters is dead, as far as, like, strength of his team. And you don't use the window. You just force, and all of a sudden you're like, it becomes panic, and now you're buying back. People are running in, they're dying again, and it's just, it's just that was so weird, man. Like, are we, are we missing something? Like, what's going on? I mean, uh, the one thing I know, Kyle, you are a player yourself, but when you're cat, like, it feels like they could do a lot of different stuff differently, right? But we're not in it. Maybe the pred does. I mean, you get pressured in games, right? Where you might make a, a mistake call or something. There's a lot of pressure. I it's more about setting it up beforehand. Like, obviously mistakes happen. It's more about, like, I don't know. I don't know, man. It definitely was a very weird ending. A fun ending, none the least for us, but uh, it was a 10 buybacks on cooldown situation. BKBs, refreshers, everything getting used. I I honestly think the biggest, if I'm going to call it, there was good plays from EG, but I think the base. I still think that Sunder cooldown is the biggest thing that happened. Yeah, really I gotta agree weird. with that. Like, like, I so they have, have one two. real stun, you know? It's yeah. like it's the literally Yeah, and, and lasso, right? Yeah. And that's it. Like did you always have a Sunder target in the game? I I don't know. Yeah. It, that's uh, there are a couple times where the range really helped out, but the problem is you're